We are at Epcot. Time for some food and wine together. Yes. I don't know how it's gonna go because there is it's not really raining. A huge storm coming. We it's are, gonna rain though. We well, are parked in all the way in Explore. Explore. Yeah. Like we are out there. It is packed here today. And we're gonna meet up with some friends and uh, enjoy some of the festivities. We're gonna have some food and some wine. And take it as it goes. Maybe some wine and some food? Maybe. Either way. I'm excited. Let's go do this. Oh lordy. I don't know how this is gonna go today. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get any drops in the mic. Well, we're gonna head right over to the light lab because that's indoors. And I feel like we should attack what's indoors first because the rain's gonna come and sometimes maybe it ends very quickly. Florida, it's very unpredictable. It is. Let's get inside. I'm not oh boy, maybe it wasn't a good idea to come right to the light lab while it's raining. I think everybody had that idea. <laughs> Look at this. Oh boy. Wow, this is the line to get into the light lab. I hope it doesn't go outside because that would just basically make no sense for us to be here if it's just going outside. We came here to get undercover. Oh, look at that. We were really close to going outside, actually. <laughs> wow, the rain is coming down. And look, we got here just in time because now the line is out the door. This strawberry looks tastier under pink light than it does green, doesn't it? Do you agree? Definitely. So I got the ultra violent, which is basically oh violet, which is basically cotton candy and water. But Veronica got the alcoholic version right here. Look at this. This is champagne, hookah bubbles, hachuchi, and every. Yes, this is the Blanca. Uh, this is the only alcoholic drink they have in the light lab, actually. Those cool test tube ones that you see actually aren't alcoholic. Yeah. I didn't know that, so I waited in line for it and it found out I can enjoy life without alcohol, but I did come for You came for the, the wine or the champagne. champagne. Nope. Carpe diem. Wait, mine's not alcoholic though. Pick me up. Mm. So Veronica's initial reaction is she didn't like this drink. It was pure shock, I think. Yes, but it doesn't get served with a straw. So I asked for a straw and then you suck up the bubbles and then you get the taste of the champagne. Do you guys want to see a magic trick? Ready? And it's very good. Watch a magic trick. Oh. And look at that, rain is gone. For like 10 more minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes at a time. Right. So, whenever you're in the parks and it's raining, it's very important to get from A to B as quickly as possible because you'll never know when it's gonna rain again. What's going on here? Where's the butterfly tent and the, the flower carpet? Wrong festival. Way wrong festival. No butterfly tent, no flower carpet? Even though it's raining, we're still gonna wait for that monorail shot. Look at that. Hey, hey you're spreading fake news. You, that came as soon as we walked to it. Yeah, I didn't wait for it. <laughs> I just seen it coming. I said, quick, grab the camera, quick, ah, 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 ah. If you're looking for someone to call you out, it's me. Thank you. Welcome. Even though it is raining out, we are gonna head to World Showcase, which kind of doesn't make any sense because there's probably the least amount of coverage from the rain in World Showcase. I mean, future world, you have plenty of place to hide out for the rain, but. But doesn't it make sense if we're doing a food and wine vlog? Are we doing a food and wine vlog? Wait, what are we doing? I don't know. Why are we here? Who are we? I don't know. Now, this isn't actually a part of the food and wine festival, but a little kitty whispered to me that the bakery in Norway has reopened after being closed for refurbishment. What kind so, of cat was it? Huh? A calico, a tabby, what kind? I think it was a man coon. A Maine Coon? A Maine Coon. Love them. They're very nice cats. Yes. So let's check out the bakery actually in Norway. See if it is reopened. Hooray! It is reopened! Wow. Very excited about this. Can't wait to see what they did. Well, it looks like they made more space. 
It was always very tiny in here. This is much more spacious, actually. Oh, yeah. It, it really is. Very popular spot here. They put this fancy sign up here because they got clubs, ham and apple sandwiches, chef salads, and salmon and egg bagel. But the coolest thing about the bakery is definitely the desserts. And I keep on talking because I'm hoping that the sign switches at any moment during this conversation. But up oh, there it happened. All right, good. Look at that, school bread, $3.99. Oh wait, where is, what? Where's the Viking troll? I mean, the, the horn, the troll horn, it's not here. They do still have the berry cream puff though, but guys, I'm sorry. It looks like the troll horn is gone. Veronica found something nifty that she wanted to drink at the China stand at Food and Wine. And actually, they took our order right at the back of the line there, and they wrote it down on this piece of paper, and she's getting a Bai Joe punch. And then, I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it means ID was checked. Does anybody remember that Barbie goes to Epcot video you could buy for a dollar from McDonald's? Oh yeah! I don't remember it, no. I'll make you watch it when we get home. Oh boy. Anyhow, this Veronica. This is Bai Joe punch. Bai Joe punch. She said to stir before sip. No. Oh my god. How? Not bad. Oh, it's not bad? No. Magical star cocktail, kind of. Very good, very good. I'm expecting things to be bad, and I just... Yeah, you sip and then decide. Wow, I see how this plays out. By God, the Bai Joe is pretty delicious. By Joy, by Joy, I think he's got it. By Joy, I think he's got it, By Joe. Yeah. Wow. It actually is really good. It's refreshing. It kind of reminds me of my star cocktail I like, but less. there's not Fruit. as much pineapple in it. Yeah, less fruity. I liked it a lot, though. We nope. shared it. We shared We did. And our next stop, Brewer's Collection. We're in Germany. Because I want to get a beer flight, actually. Very excited. This is going to be a very intimate vlog because we are sharing an umbrella and it is really starting to come down. It's pouring. Yes. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's. Everything's close. Hello. 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 But we just got a beer flight. Yeah. So uh, let's check this out. And this is what we got here in the good old Brewers Collection in Germany. Lots of good beers. Oh, the pomegranate beer. And that's them right there. Uh oh, we gotta get this underwater. We're getting water driplets. But water driplets make it more like Bud Lights. Oh, is that what we're doing? We're creating Bud Lights out of German beers? Yes. Watering it down? Yes. I think you should start with the pomegranate. Give it a sip. Not bad. Not bad, really? No. Oh, very good. The Hefeweiss. How is it? Oh, it's good. I like it a lot. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, don't be startled. What? But I think I see the Loch Ness Monster over there. Oh my gosh, I see him too. Everybody, this is not a joke, not clickbait. The Loch Ness Monster is here in the lagoon. We found him. Good old Nessie. Wow. And this one is the Zwickel Pilsner. Unfiltered. <laughs> Since Veronica doesn't pretty much like all of them, I feel like I'm going to finish them all just so we can get them done. <laughs> Good luck chugging that one. It's super sweet. Champion. Thank you. College students, do not do this. I'm just going to stay low. No, you got this. You got this. We can do it. We gotta make it to our next stop. Uh oh, go, go. We're going to Germany. We are We're... in Germany. Oh, ah, my hat's stuck on the umbrella. It's all right, it's all right. Who didn't finish their beer? Food and wine drama. <laughs> and we ran into our friend Tammy. Hi guys. Yes. She's the Magical Guide leader. Yes, great Facebook group, Magical Guide. They have one for every single park and resorts. Yeah, so make sure you check them out on Facebook. Every single one. Almost, yes. Almost. We're almost there. That's the, that's, that's the way. That's the way to be. <laughs> well, we're going to get something to eat. Our first thing we're eating at Food & Wine, actually. The Frito Misto. There it is. Oh, I like the way you did that. 
do it again. Wow. Now that looks really good. Crispy shrimp, fried zucchini, and sweet potato fries. And we're sharing it with Spaceship Earth. Look at that view. Oh! Wow, you were just doing great. Let's try it. Well, I guess sweet potato fry first. Oh. oh, you're hooking me. Stop that. I like it. I like it a lot. Very good, very good. How's that? Amazing. I knew it. I love zucchini. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh wow, that is amazing. Look at all the shrimp you get too. Do these have their butts on them and stuff? No. I just eat it. So this literally, hands down, the best thing I've ever purchased at Food & Wine, food-wise. Yeah. Hands down. You like this bread and the shrimp and grits they used to have? Or yes. They, still have? they gave you like, they gave you six shrimp, two zucchini pieces, and a whole bunch of sweet potato fries. And it was only eight bucks. I loved it. Absolutely loved this. And everybody watch out for these guys during Food & Wine. They're likely to snatch up your food. Ah. Oh, the chickens? Yes, the chickens. So we're going to try ourselves a new beer. Yeah, that we've never had before. Wait, I don't even... Wait, how do you say it? Menabra? Menabrea. Menabrea. Look at this. And it's a blonde ale for the blonde. Thank you. This stuff is not found in Florida anywhere else but here at this stand. Wait, for real? Yes. That's what he just told us, so it's very exciting. Florida only you can find it. Otherwise, you can find it in New York. Oh, so in an Italian restaurant in New York. Please tell me what you think. I am very much Very good. Really? Very, very good. I'm excited to try it. Very good. Hey, it is you? so good. <laughs> so we went from America Whoa. back to Italy because we're rerouting. We met up with some fellow YouTubers, World's Greatest Kiting. Right here, Cinema Sickness. Hey, and she's gone. <laughs> she gone. Her first visit. There will be an introduction. Yes, but, but she, she gone. Has jogged her way into Italy. Yes, it's her first time here at Disney World, and oh, she's touching the. There's just pure joy in her, her eyes right now. Yeah, yeah, she's liking this a lot. And here we are, all grouped together, just waiting for our rite of passage. <laughs> to get to China. Ha ha. And this is what happens when the bridge actually goes down. It is a la chaos. Every man for himself. Look at this. Boy. We are watching Reflections of China. Thank you. Yes. Welcome. That's Ping. I am the body. A point <laughs> of dynasty. Now we have to exit World Showcase to veer from our plans because supposedly we're going to go meet Tammy over in the land to try to make some candy sushi. Sounds very interesting, doesn't AKA it? AKA Fushi. AKA Fushi? Yeah, but it's not fruit, it's candy. So it's, it's fruit Kasashi? Flavor, fruit flavor candy. Kashashi. Candy. Cassie. Candy? I don't know. What? There it is, candy sushi, presented by Skittles. So we were too late and we missed the cutoff time, but they are doing some examples of candy sushi here. Wait, is that a Fruit Loop on the bottom? It's a fruit leather, in fact. A fruit? Yes. A fruit leather, so it's And then a Rice Krispie yeah, Treats. And then Rice Krispie Treats, and then we're gonna put some gummy worms on it. Ooh. Oh. Ah, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Wait, should it all be really close to me though? This looks so delicious. I know. I bet it is. Wow. It 
looks great. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, very good. I was say, I'll, I'll do the cut for the, for the video oh, yes. as well. Yes, this will be the, it's like the money shot. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Look at that one. Don't look at that one. Candy sushi. Beautiful. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the candy sushi. Very fun, it looks like. Like I said, we were a little late for the reservation, but that's okay. Uh, but it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost a thing. But reservations are highly recommended. They do have a standby, but it's very tough. And look, Courtney is sharing her sushi. Crucci? What, how, what would you call it? Candy sushi. Candy sushi. Crucci. With me. So I can't wait to try this. Crucci. For our second sushi roll, mm. you can unfold or unwrap. Well, that was the candy sushi. That is so cool that they offer that as a free activity. But there's only room for like 15 people. So make sure you stop into the land by the seasons. You'll see the big sign. Get reservations if you're interested in doing it because there is no such thing as standby for that, I don't think. No. No way. I mean, I think if you make reservations, everyone's going to be there. It's very limited seating. Completely free. But thank you, Courtney, the cast member, who was demonstrating on how to make the sushi. She actually turned to me and was just like, do you want some of mine? And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so that was so awesome, because I got to try it. Well, I guess that's it. We're on a tram. So it's time to go home. We gotta let Gracie go. But it was fun. It rained a little bit. It rained a lot, actually. But we still had a lot of fun hanging out that shot. And that candy sushi is awesome. So love the luck you live. See you next time. The land of wheelchairs. The newest land at Disneyland. Disney World. Oh. Get it right. This guy's waiting for the tram. <laughs>